Y'all already know what's going on. It's BK motherfucking Benji and motherfucking ready. Where the fuck going on? I think that's really gonna be like my my little thing now. That's gonna be my thing now. Like, yeah, all black suit, this trip is Saint Milano. But y'all, I'm back with another video. This video is going to be a little story time you know me exposing myself i guess whatever cool but um do not talk about my room you know cleaning day laundry day all that good stuff going on today so it's not act like it's there you know so this story time is actually just gonna be a video of me just talking about the time i got locked up like real situation going on it happened whatever i'm past it i'll even show y'all my mug shots because bro I look cute, but hit, you know what I'm saying? But it's whatever, because it's a life experience. And I'm just telling y'all just to not do the same thing, the same thing, the same things that I've done. So this is literally how it all started. Me and Jamar, my friend Jamar, we decided to go see my friend, uh, Lasia. We just wanted to go take a little break from our life and just go mess up hers. No, it's not, but it was lots of stuff. Like we just wanted to go take a little trip or whatever so ended up taking a trip to athens or whatever and it was good you know the vibe was good i haven't seen my best friend in a long time so it was like just good vibes or whatever so uh i believe like the next morning everybody wakes up everybody starting a day and it was on some stuff like me and jamar personally like started arguing over some like money situation like I was mad at him because he ended up spending like more money than he like was supposed to. But we were just like, it was over like some petty little situation, whatever. We just start arguing, turned into a physical argument. And now we I actually fighting. Lasia comes in a room and they trying to split us up. So as they split us up, I was like, you know what? I'm leaving. Get my keys and I drive off and I go in the car and i think i went to some alley or i went somewhere some abandoned spot parked my car rolled up real quick smoked the half a blunt came back these niggas are gone so now i'm sitting here like oh where did you go you know what i'm saying i was gone for only 10 20 minutes i don't understand i noticed that i couldn't find my phone so i'm looking for my phone looking, looking, looking for my phone Lasia's boyfriend's sister ends up telling me that jamar had my phone so I'm sitting here mad as hell because it's like more reasons for me to stay after I'm telling Jamar I need to leave. Because I really wanted to leave after uh, the whole argument, fighting situation. Like I really wanted to leave. Instead of leaving, I went and just smoked or whatever. But I wanted to leave even more because now my phone is took. Niggas are gone. Like I was just, I was just angry about how everything was going. So I just really just wanted to leave. But I couldn't leave because my phone so now i'm asking her like yo can you ride with me to go get my phone she's like yeah you know girl i got you whatever cool so we get to the spot and it was at a gun range so i'm mad as hell because it's like damn niggas had a whole argument y'all decided to go to a gun range whatever it was a whole little it was a whole little situation where everything just wasn't going as planned but anyway so she ends up taking me to the gun range where they was at and i wanted to go get my phone so boom i'm going to go get my phone we get there and i get out the car and she's telling me like she told i'm not even gonna lie to you she told me off rip the uh, my best friend's boyfriend's sister told me off rip deny it bro we in athens do not act out me personally if you really know me i do not give a fuck okay like if you get me out of that element already because i'm already a chill person like really chill but it's all stuff like when you literally piss me off bro I don't care. I don't care no more. I don't even care about the consequences. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I am, which is bad, but cool. I know how I am. Bag it. But yeah, so boom, I'm sitting here and I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna do nothing, whatever. So I'm just I'm just gonna get my phone. So I go in there and Jamar, bro, I got your phone, bro. I took it because uh I just wanted you to, you know, stay here. I just wanted to leave. He wanted me to stay. And so yeah, so that was the whole little altercation, whatever. So that's why he took my phone, supposedly. So I was telling him at the end of the day, like, do not touch my stuff because I don't like when you touch my stuff because you don't like when I touch your stuff. So why are you touching my stuff? So you just like, bruh, it wasn't like like that, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I'm starting to get worked up, anger, and then tears coming down. So then the guy that works at the gun range, yo, what's going on? Are you okay? I'm like, yes, stay out of my business. So then I'm freaking getting an attitude because he still would not hand me my phone. So now we're sitting there arguing in the gun range. So I walk out. I'm like, fuck this shit. Fuck it. Going to my car, I'm crying. Like, hey, I'm not this nigga. 
I just want my phone. I just want to leave. Like, I just feel like I have no control. And I hate when it's like, if I want to leave, bro, and, you, and I can't leave because it's like either you got something in, of mine in your possession or it's on, on some stuff. Like, I just feel like, like, it's just something that's making me not leave. I just feel trapped. I don't know. I just get a I just get overwhelmed. I can't really explain what I'm trying to say, but I'm pretty sure y'all understand what I'm saying. But yeah, so I'm just getting all worked up and stuff and stuff. So I'm sad crying in the car. He walks up to the car. So he walks up to the car. He's like, bro, here's your phone. Throws it at me. Or throws it in the car. So I forgot what had happened. But I remember I just had my phone now. So I, I got my phone. So that's you know, we arguing, whatever. And it was just like, I think he, at the time I had like long braids. So I'm talking my shit. I'm like, eh, through the window, whatever. And he's standing outside like, bro, I just wanted you to come in. And nah, 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 nah. But you don't know how to understand when someone's actually like uh, being nice to you. Like, just, just trying to like do reverse psychology. But you can't do that with me because nigga, I do that. So you can't do it to me. Okay. So anyway, I'm sitting here telling him like, I don't give a fuck. But while I get my phone, throws the phone. And then, like, when he threw the phone, it was, like, kind of, like, he pulled, like, a, like a braid or something. So, my head did that. I'm not even going to lie. My head did something like that. So, when my head did that, I turned around and I said, Tua! and I spit on him. <laughs> and it wasn't even, on, like, bro, I totally get it. Y'all going to be like, bro, Janai, you're nasty. Uh-uh, I would have rocked you. I would have beat you up. I totally understand. I would have beat me up. I would have did the same thing. It's just the fact that, bro... We in front of a gun range. The guy was already standing outside. So it just it just wasn't good timing for any of that at all. So boom, nigga gets spit on. Now we actually fighting. Like he was fighting, like he pulled my hair, but he pulled it for real this time. So now I'm sitting here, get off of me, bitches. Nigga. Like I was just so mad. Next thing you know, the guy's like, I'm calling the cops. I'm saying, ah, 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 ah. don't do that. What you doing that for? So he was like, they're, they're already on the way. Literally, when he said that, swear to God, I heard the sirens already. So I'm just like, damn. All right, cool. I'm like, let nothing happen. The cops come. It's four, I think it's like four or three cop cars come. So I'm like, damn, you would think I just shot somebody, really. So the guy, he's running it down to them like, oh, she was crying. They came in. He had a gun. Like, you know, because uh, Jamar, he had a, a gun um, licensed in his name. So it was all stuff like it was his gun, but that doesn't mean like just because we was fighting, he about to come shoot me. Like they made it seem like he was about to like, oh, he had a gun and I don't know what he's going to do. with. Like they was making it seem like way more than what it was. So I'm sitting here like angry as hell because I ain't have to go do none of this. All I wanted to do was go home. And now I'm sitting here talking to cops because you took my phone thinking that it was going to be cool and sweet. But now we're in a situation where we're about to get locked up. And now I just don't feel like this is cool and sweet anymore. Like I don't feel happy anymore. So I'm sitting here trying to freaking die down the situation. Well, die myself down because I was all worked up and you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to calm myself down. So next thing you know, I see Jamar and he come well he didn't come out he was in the handcuffs because they put him in handcuffs or whatever on the curb so he's sitting on the curb in the handcuffs so me and jamar like i think he said something to me and i'm like jamar shut the fuck up because this door this, you're the reason why we in this situation da, 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 da. so we just going back and forth me and jamar next thing you know the guy uh he comes up to me he's like explain your side so i tell him straight up i'm like listen we was arguing he had my phone and uh i'm not going to lie like i did spit on him and that kind of made him like react in the way he reacted but like i take full accountability because i just felt bad that i did spit on him like i really felt bad he was like you know spitting on somebody's a felony and i said excuse me didn't know that so now i'm sitting here like dumbfounded because i kind of snitched on myself so anyway they looked at the freaking cameras they seen him coming to the car pulling my hair they seen me spit on him they seen him pull my hair again it was just so much proof behind the bullshit i was saying i was like damn fuck it you know what i'm saying like i was just like whatever fuck what i'm saying just watch the video like but i still said what i said but it was just like fuck what i said because they of course cops is gonna pay attention to a video over what you're saying so whatever cool so after that um that was when Jamar, he was talking on the curb and he was talking to me, like me talking back and forth. I'm like, bro, shut up. Blah, blah, blah. The guy was like, oh, you and him talking? Put her in handcuffs too. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> Am I being pranked? If no, 
serious but wait why like literally i did that exact <laughs> i did that exact <laughs> so it was just like he was like bro y'all talking the way these handcuffs came on they could come off so i'm like okay you know i'm gonna be calm collective you know what i'm saying i'm chill they're gonna get off so i'm sitting in the cop car because they put both of us in the cop car him in one and then me in another so he's on this side and i like i don't know if y'all can see my hand but he's on this side and then i'm all the way over here so i can't see nothing my friend meanwhile listen to this part my friend she was in the gun range she didn't know nothing that was going on i seen her come out as soon as i got into the car so plot twist remember in the beginning of the story when i told you i went and i went to go smoke real quick right smoked in the car so the car smells like weed okay car smells like weed and i had a whole and it was just on some stuff like dang you know what i'm saying else else so I'm sitting here like, yo, Alasia, I don't know what they about to do. Like, this is this was my way of just, you know, dying it down a little bit. I was just like, I don't know what they about to do with my car. So take my keys and get your stuff out the car. So she was just like, yeah, okay. But she, at first, she, I'm not going to lie, she was acting real, real slow. So it was kind of making me mad because, girl, I got stuff in my bag. Can you please get my bag and act like it's yours, stupid? But anyway, cool. So... I'm seeing her trying to tell her, like, yo, get this, like, you know, get your bag. So she's like, yeah, I'm about to. I'm watching her through the, in the car. She did not even try. So now I'm sitting here like, damn, yo, damn. This bitch ain't solid. Like, you know, they telling us, like, I guess the guy is looking through my car and he smells marijuana. And my car was kind of cracked. So he was like, oh, it smells like marijuana. We have to search your car now. So now I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. Um it's not even like i had to say so anyway so i was like whatever cool when he searched my car he found stuff and jamar said it was his i said it was mine so it was also stuff like we both kind of claiming it it's not really one person claiming it so now it's like we both got that charge so then it was also stuff like domestic i think it was domestic violence some stuff i forgot what it was but now i got two charges all oh, because i wanted to go home and get my phone so now i'm just mad as hell so then they come back to the car and they're telling us straight up like yo she comes with my friend and she's like yo uh they're about to lock you up you want me to get your your card and stuff so i'm like hell yeah girl, i got the bond money you bugging out whatever you do just look for a bondsman right now so she's like all right bro i'm gonna get you out as fast as i can so i'm like all right bet do the same for jamar too because we're not even supposed to be here literally we just came because you know going through a little family little situation and she was just helping us out and it ended up us being in jail so it was just like a whole whole bad just it wasn't like none of that shit was needed like at all bro it just made everything worse after that i'm in the freaking car they telling me like they just talking talking to me like yo yeah you about to go just your first time and i'm just telling them like yeah i'm sitting in the back seat just like this like I'm just mad as hell because really I got to prepare myself to be in a cell. Going to the jail, whatever, and I have to take off all my piercings. After that, my hair was already looking crazy because niggas was, you know, fighting, whatever. So my hair just looking crazy. Um, I think after that, I'm just sitting in the holding cell for like an hour or two. So the holding cell, you know, they got like mad writing on the walls and stuff. So it's just like, kill me now. This place is hell. Die. Like, I'm just like, oh. So boom, I'm seeing all that stuff on the wall. I'm getting tight because now I'm like, y'all, I'm really in jail. Like it's really starting to kick in or whatever. So boom, I'm freaking just trying to still stay positive. Like I'm talking to the people in the front. They was really, really cool. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just like, whatever, like hopefully I get up by tomorrow. So they're like, yeah, hopefully you got court in the morning, whatever. Cool. So I'm like, all right, bet. Little, little bit of hope, you know. They ended up taking me to go get my jumpsuit on. I got the shoes and then I do the mug shot. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm proud. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my mugshot because I'm pretty sure you could look it up even if you Google the bitch. But yeah, like as you could tell, like this was just fed up. Like I just started the time of the month. Like it was just like so much going on. Like I just did not want to be there. I didn't want to go through none of that at the time. I was just irritated. I just went to lay down and go to sleep. At first, I had to go take a shower, which the shower wasn't even cold, but it was still like it was freezing in the damn jail. So I'm freaking taking a shower with the lady watching me. So I'm feeling weird as hell. So then it was just some stuff like cool, whatever. Um, after that, um, 
what they gave me. They gave me my jumpsuit. They gave me my shoes. And then I'm walking to the cell. As I walk to the cell, uh, I got to pass the, the, the guy jail first. So I passed the guy jail. And it was just on some stuff like, or well, the men's jail. And it was on some stuff like everybody was just whispering, calling your name. Like, it's just regular stuff. And then you get to the female jail. And it was like, whites over here, blacks and Hispanics and everybody on that side. And then it's like in the middle, it's like, the i guess the holding cells for just in case you might leave or something i don't really know but yeah it was just i I was in the holding cells so there was other people that also just got there too that i seen some girl i think i knew her but i didn't really know i i, I couldn't think of her name or anything so i didn't say nothing to her but she came up to me and she like i think i know you and i was like bitch no you don't you know what i'm saying i don't know you you don't know me even if you did don't say nothing literally that's how i was feeling because like I was just annoyed with just everything that was going on, bro. I just did not want to talk to nobody. When they finally closed my door, I'm just chilling in the cell, whatever. I'm cramping. I'm sad. So I start to go to sleep. Wake up. I think it was like 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the morning. They was trying to move me. So I'm like, okay, whatever. As soon as I get up, they're like, yo, shower, moving you. Open my door. And the girl, like, they moving her in my room, grabs my bin and just, like, she grabs my bin. And she's like, oh, here. And I'm just looking at her like, today's not the day. She's my, She might be here for a while since they're, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what the hell she got going on. But whatever, you know, I just get your bin. Today's not the day. Cool. So I ended up getting the bin. They moved me, I think, to the, the one next to her or something like that. And it is what it is. So then after that, they moved me again to another room. And it was like with someone now. So then it was like, I'm with a girl biting her nails and doing all this weird stuff. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to sleep. Like, that's literally what I kept saying, telling myself. I was like, I'm just going to sleep everything away because I just can't. So I wake up and now it's like breakfast time. I ate all that shit. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like, I ate every single bite. I don't even care. So then after that, uh, they was telling me how I had court later on that day. So I'm waiting, 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 waiting. I ain't getting no calls, no nothing. I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. Finally get calls the damn thing. My freaking bonds was like 6000 bro. bruh. That shit hurt my heart. After that, I just ended up bonding myself out. Like, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I was sitting there for like a good four hours after the court. And I'm I'm just like, when can I get my call? When can I get my call? When can I get my call? Whole time, my friend had a bondsman. He was just taking a long time trying to get Jamar out. So it ended up working out at the end of the day. Like, I got out. But it was just the fact, like, I had to go through all of that over a phone. Like, you know how mad I was to even, like, just, just go through any of that? Like, I was just so freaking annoyed, upset tired but yeah y'all like moral of the story it was so lame like i didn't want to go through any of that at all moral of the story don't spit on no one don't touch no one's stuff you know what i'm saying and what else did i learn from that experience stay in the house that's what i learned stay in the damn house because listen problems is gonna always be somewhere they're gonna be somewhere bitch you just better not find them okay that's all i gotta say if y'all want me to make more story time videos i need y'all to comment down below like what y'all want me to talk about because off rip i'm just talking about my experiences that i'm going through that i feel like it could help somebody else but yeah i want you guys to actually interact with me talk to me like tell me what you guys want to actually see so i can post them 2021 it's gonna be better it's gonna be better for everyone like comment subscribe <laughs> love you guys <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, bitch, I'm P.